this is unfortunately a misrepresentation of what was actually in the study that came out in August that this person was referencing. The study looked at mitochondrial DNA. So mitochondria, if you remember from high school science class, are one of the organelles within our cells. They are often referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. They're, they're where important things happen. That's all that really matters. And we have learned over time that there are there is DNA specific to the mitochondria. And so what they did for this study was they looked at the changes to the DNA specific for the mitochondria in human oocytes or human eggs. And it's really important to note, because I looked up the actual study, that they only looked at data from 22 women and they ranged in age from 20 to 42. So it wasn't like a study where they included women of all ages and could say that, you know, up to our 90s, let's say that our mitochondrial DNA were relatively stable. That's not what happened here. They stopped looking after age 42. And that's because the way they got their samples was through in vitro fertilization. And it's very rare to have older women trying to go through in vitro fertilization. And the basic gist of what they found was that the mitochondrial DNA in human oocytes seemed to have relatively more stable DNA compared to blood and saliva samples from these same individuals. And that's great. And it's not the same as saying that egg quality remains high throughout the entire life of a woman, because, and that's because that's not true. The increase in chromosomal abnormalities with a woman's age has been well documented, and this is not changing that. That's the only reason I wanted to make this video was so that people don't have a mistaken impression that what we've known for a long time now about chromosomal abnormalities and oocyte age is somehow wrong. All of that remains true. And this is an interesting piece of information specifically about mitochondrial DNA. And though I agree with some of this in that definitely women's health research has been and continues to be severely underfunded, and there is a lot of misogyny in women's health care, that's not the reason that people have talked for a long time about the issues with aging oocytes. Those are based on what the actual science tells us, and this study doesn't change that.